A family from Wynwood is celebrating today. A young boy was released after being taken hostage by Hamas, but the family is still praying for the boy's father who is missing. CBS Philadelphia Montgomery County reporter Kim Hudson has that story. I thought I recognized I said, this is him. This is the moment Danielle Gutman saw 12-year-old Eitan Yahalomi fall into his mother's arms again. He has been in captivity since the October 7th attack. On that day, Gutman says the family was kidnapped from their home. Eitan's mother and sisters escaped. His father, Ohad, the cousin of Gutman's sister-in-law, was shot and wounded, and Eitan was taken to Gaza. Video released by Hamas's military wing shows a time being taken to Red Cross vehicles late Monday. Gutman says she is relieved he is alive and seems to be physically okay, but wonders if the boy will suffer emotionally. I don't know. I hope he can recover from this. I don't know how he's going to go back to how he was before. Still, the family has not heard anything about Ohad. And that's what's so terrible. We don't know anything. Anything. We, we, we don't know if he was even taken alive. We, we have no sign of life. For now, Gutman is processing her overwhelming joy for Eitan's return to his mother and her fear for all the children waiting to see their families again. We're all missing these kids that we don't know. And because of my, my sister in law, it's all that more personal for us because it's really close to home. As she watches all the developments in the Mideast closely, she's hoping for the best. Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.